Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I'm here to do a Twin Flame reading for us. It is Sunday, April 5th, 2020. So here on Divine Conversations, this is what I guess has become Twin Flame Day, although it's always been Twin Flame Day Sundays. It's just whatever. <laughs> so we're just going to do a weekly check-in. Um, and it's really interesting because, I, and I, I feel like I've been saying this all the time, but or at least lately, but I wasn't, I mean, I knew Sunday was coming. I was like, okay, well, I guess I should, uh, maybe I'll do, I said this exact same thing last week. Sunday's coming. I guess I should do a Twin Flame reading. Um, Saturday rolled around, which was yesterday. Yesterday was a really heavy day for me personally. Um, and it was only heavy because of twin flame energy. Um, I personally was dealing with a lot of, um, past memories that kept coming up. It was like, it just could, it would not stop. It just kept all happening over and over and over. Of course, they were not past memories so far in the past where it was like two years ago, even it was more so what had recently happened, what I had recently experienced, um, on the journey. Um, going back to the, the, the resurgence, the big resurgence of the energy that we experienced uh, back in December, um, which led me to cross paths and show up in places and blah, blah, blah. But um, which all of that didn't turn out the way that I had thought it was going to go, the way I was led to believe it was going to go. Um, however, it did show me, it was kind of like the final nail in the coffin for me to get me to finally choose myself in this situation, um, which is something that the Divine Feminine Collective has been dealing with lately, with the rise of the Divine Feminine power that has been happening over the last few years, and the recent strengthening of that power, fortification even, definitely settling into very much a Nine of Pentacles energy for the Divine Feminine. Um, and, and also settling into the queen of pentacles energy, which is the energy of understanding the nine of pentacles is being, um, standing firm in your own self, your own identity, standing strong on your own two feet, um, being financially independent, being single, even if that applies to you. Um, I know I, I, it's very, it's very possible that I may be having, I may have individuals here that are watching this reading that are in union. So if you are in union, um, and you are still vibrate or resonating with what I'm describing for the divine feminine, the nine of pentacles energy wouldn't necessarily represent you being single, right? Because you're in union with your twin, but it's more about you being independent, strong, um, having a solid foundation with yourself, being even financially abundant, um, uh, you know, wish fulfillment in certain cases. Um, but it's mainly because the, any wish fulfillment that would come through with that energy is mainly because of the fact that you are standing in an independent sovereign state. The Queen of Pentacles energy is knowing your worth, um, not being willing to extend yourself further than is necessary, especially not an energy of enabling someone else to not, you know, handle their part of the situation, um, handle their own responsibilities and whatnot, whatever, um, and not allowing yourself to accept anything less than what you know you are worthy of, what you are deserving of, um, and something uh, not allowing, not accepting circumstances, relationships, whatnot, whatever, from someone in, in ways that are not reciprocal. Okay. So with, with the divine feminine collective really settling into that energy, it manifested for me as a moment where I could cross paths with my twin, potentially interact with him, although it didn't really go down the way, I guess my ego wanted it to. Yeah, that's a perfect way of putting it. Okay. But ultimately it did help me realize that I needed to stop choosing him or his desires or his, um, point of view, even frame of reference and uh, over my own. And, and here's the other thing about what the, about the twin flame journey it's something that I recently come into understanding about. I'll, and this is something I've always said about relationships in general, but all relationships are a two way street. In, the, in terms of the twin flame dynamic, it's still a two-way street and you do have two very powerful individuals on their own um, who are badasses, who are forces to reckon with 
individually, but when they come together, they're that much stronger. However, for, in order for the two of them to come together and be that much stronger, you have to be willing to meet each other uh, on a, on some sort of level playing field, um, uh, meet each other halfway even. Um, and this has actually been a big message for the collective that's been coming through quite frequently through my readings. So for me, yesterday was a day where a lot of the guilt, the shame, the anger, the embarrassment, whatnot, whatever that had is associated with that last round was coming up, was being purged. Um, and, and yes, it was a situation in which I was learned, I was finally showed that I needed to choose myself. But in choosing oneself, you have to be willing to compromise in certain situations. And it's mainly for the fact, sheer fact of one, the divine masculine energies are very three-dimensionally oriented, very fixed, very grounded, very action-oriented. The divine feminine is very fifth-dimensionally oriented or spiritually oriented. I just saw 555 on the counter. Spiritually oriented, um, uh, magical, receptive, flowy, and all that. It's not about the feminine uh, going down to the third dimension and living life like the masculine would. And it's not uh, like uh, it's not about the masculine coming up to the fifth dimension and living life how the masculine would. It is, I'm sorry, how the feminine would. It is all about the two of us being individuals, the masculine and the feminine, being strong in our individuality, and then coming together and finding a way to work together. However, for me specifically, it, it was shown, and, and I'm, I'm sharing this because I do feel like it's going to resonate out into the collective. It was shown that there was an overemphasis on his cho choices and his point of view, just as there has, has been an overemphasis on my choices and my point of view. And thus, that's where I said, okay, it's time for me to choose myself, but it's time for me to go in a direction that is healthiest for best for the both of us and how, that includes me completely pulling away and going in a completely different direction so yesterday again yesterday was a time was a, a day where um a lot of purging happened in terms of that and so then and i and so yesterday it was like wow this is really ironic that this is happening now and i'm going to potentially be doing a twin flame reading tomorrow and then i woke up this morning and it was the first thing i thought of. i was like all right eric you got to get up because we got a twin flame reading to do it's like oh well, shit. So here we are. <laughs> All right. So um, I am interested in hearing if you guys dealt with any sort of that energy uh, yesterday, Saturday, the 4th of March. I almost said September. Why did I almost say September? That is weird. Um, yeah, I'm interested in hearing if any of that came up for you guys. Okay. Anyway, let me stop rambling because we are almost 10 minutes into this reading, into this video. And let's see what we've got for the collective this week. Oh, so, oh, um, <laughs> so I'm doing a mirror reading. As you can see, those of you that know me, these two decks are a mirror reading. So the deck on the left is going to represent the divine masculine energies. The deck on the right is going to represent the divine feminine energies. Keep in mind that time is an illusion. This is not really a dated reading. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading, it is the message for you in that time. Um, and it resonates for you, of course. And um, keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, as always, with this twin flame situation or this twin flame stuff, we are looking at the Divine Masculine Collective and the Divine Feminine Collective. Um, the Divine, it doesn't have to be gender. We're not talking about gender here. We're talking about energy. Also keep in mind that you may be able to get some sort of glimpse of what's going on with someone's physically external to you. However, it is always recommended that you try, at least try and look at this from a point of view of your own inner masculine and feminine energies because we all have them. Also, please do not, please, please disregard the manicure. Um, I've been doing a lot of work with my hands this weekend, and it just really did not make sense to redo them yet. Um, and then some of you were like, well, why don't you just take it off? Because I don't want to take it off. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. So with all of that said, um, let's get into this. Ooh. Hi, spirit. 
please make me a clear channel for the, the Twin Flame Collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please give us a clear and accurate representation of the energies of the Divine Masculine Collective, represented by the deck on the left, and the energies of the Divine Feminine Collective, represented by the deck on the right. And please give us any guidance that you have for us at this time to aid us on our journeys, and please guide us with anything that you, Spirit, need us to know right now. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, I'm going to get started. Oops, I'm going to start by shuffling the energies of the Divine Masculine Collective here. Um, what I did here just now, I heard the Divine Masculine Collective is changing. Um, let me give this five shuffles. So that was one. And already what I feel like to Divine Masculine, what you're going through, a change of heart. But I'm also seeing a change in perspective. That's three. And it's this change in perspective that is catalyzing a change of heart. This is four. I don't know. I, I don't know exactly what has happened. I, I'm, this is a collective energy, so this could have manifested in infinitely different ways. But what I'm feeling is the current energetic space that we're in, obviously this is recorded on the 5th of April, so we're still in lockdown from like the coronavirus. A lot of bu businesses are shut down. Social st distancing is a thing. More and more states are starting to go into a more mandated lockdown, stay at home order, whatever. What I feel like is happening here is it's part of, you know, part of that whole coronavirus lockdown, but it's also just a part of a, uh, uh, which with that that coronavirus lockdown is a is a smaller part of a bigger thing that's happening all over the planet. It's a big shift, a change in energy, a change in motive, a change in perspective. And there could have been some specific things or it could just be the fact that you're you're starting to vibe with the collective energies. But something about this time period right now is really catalyzing a change in perspective for you, Divine Masculine, which ultimately is catalyzing a change of heart, yes. But on top of that, it's also catalyzing a change in perspective or a change in the way that you view the Divine Feminine Collective, but also your specific Divine Feminine if you have come in contact with them in this lifetime. Uh, whether it was, it's like an, for like a, a, a longer period where you actually had some sort of relationship or some sort of friendship or at least some sort of association with each other, or if it was just like a, a fleeting thing, you met them at a party and then like have never seen them since or whatever. I mean, this is, a, this could be happening in many different ways. Um, shuffle number five. Now, Divine Masculine, I'm also picking up that this doesn't necessarily mean that you're about to reach out to your Divine Feminine. Um, some of you might. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna completely write that out. But what I'm picking up here is a is a strong sense of humbleness. Oops, my unicorn fell. A strong sense of humbleness, and in, in this change in perspective for you, it's really helping you see everything differently. All of the ways that you, all of the things that have happened between you and your divine feminine, all of the things that have happened in the karmic or other soulmate karmic relationships that you have around you. Um, it's just this, this deep sense of humbleness, gratitude I'm hearing, um, because some of you are starting to get the lessons and the messages in some of the things that the divine feminine had been trying to tell you when you guys were in communication, if you find yourselves in separation now, um, yeah. Okay, I, I realized that I just stopped mid-sentence, mid-phrase, but <laughs> the, the channeling stream stopped. So, okay, we're going to move on to the Divine Feminine now. Divine Feminine, I'm going to shuffle yours five times here, just like we did with the Masculine. 
three. Oh, not three. That was two. <laughs> Apparently I can't count this morning. Three. Divine Feminine, I'm seeing purple energy for you. Uh, four. And I still feel like you're in this energy of still sitting back. Um, some of, for some of you, I'm hearing wasting time. Is this five? Shit, I lost count. All right, Spirit says, let that be it. That's fine. Okay. Um, for some of us, we're procrastinating. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, all right. I hear you, Spirit. But um, for other others of us, the Divine Feminine Collective, you're just like kind of sitting around waiting. I'm hearing waiting for your masculine to wake up. And that's really not something that we should be doing, to, to be quite honest. Um, but it's really not even like that a lot of the time. Boop. There are some of us that are still in that um, codependent energy. There are still some of us that are still kind of like waiting for our masculines to get to a certain point before we can feel like we can start our mission or go about our business. But that was never the case. That was never how it was meant to be. But also part of the energy that I'm feeling for you, Divine Feminine, is you're just kind of sitting back, like laying back in the cut, just watching shit go down. Like, yeah, I told you so. But you know what? You're, you're just going to have to, I mean, I literally, good God, Divine Feminine, I see you sitting back, probably in a corner somewhere, like I'm seeing uh, the, 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 the scene is a nightclub, and you're kind of in like a VIP area, or just nestled up in some like dark corner where someone can't really see you, and you're just sitting there with your drink, just sipping away, watching all the madness go down. Oh, look, there goes that one. Wow, that took a while to fall. Oops, and there's the next one. Huh, gee. And you're kind of just sitting, ba sitting back watching people like flounder around like chickens with their heads cut off as if this is something new where we all knew this was coming, at least in the Divine Feminine Collective, we knew this was coming. And it really isn't for the masculines that are watching that are going through some pretty nasty stuff. And you're hearing me say this and you're thinking, oh, well, you think you're so great. You think you know everything. No, no, no. And we did, tr we did try to mention it. We did try to say something. We did try to tell you, but it was never really our place to tell you. You had to deal, deal with it for yourself. So yeah, there's a little bit of a I told you so energy, but at the same time, it's like Divine Feminine, you need to just like fall back and and stay in your own lane because this is not a this is not a time for you to be coming out chicken necking you know talking all kinds of mess like that's not going to help anything this is a necessary part of this of the of the economic change the system change the world change okay it is almost 20 minutes in and i still haven't even read a card yet <laughs> So with that said, let's get into it. So we're going to start with the Divine Feminine, your overall energy here. There's that Seven of Swords again. And Divine Feminine, this came out for the reading that I did last week. Uh, last week, I didn't do a mirror reading. I did an oracle reading, um, but I'm, I'm in the process of... I'm in the process of moving, okay? And so I'm trying to simplify things. Um, and so I'm getting back to Tarot this month, which actually I'm really kind of happy about. And I know a lot of you are happy about it too, but this came out for the divine feminine last week, the seven of swords, but this time divine feminine, this is your overall energy. This is the very first card of the overall energy. So like you're still in this incognito energy of just like keeping your cards very close to your chest, not really revealing too much that you don't have to reveal, um, being secretive, I'm hearing being nostalgic, okay? It's interesting because I was thinking about this yesterday because I was kind of going back, uh, looking back at the energies. I didn't rewatch the reading, but I was just going back in my memory on, on the energies for the collective. And I was kind of feeling like I missed something with that last reading with this Seven of Swords because I feel like there is a little bit of deceptive energy going on, but within yourself. I'm already feeling like I may want to do some sort of extended reading, which is probably going to end up on my Patreon page. Um, 
the link into the, the Patreon is in the description box below. So go ahead with that if you want to check me out there. I'm not sure. I think I want to look into this Seven of Swords energy some more for you, Divine Feminine. But let's go through the rest of the reading and see what comes out. Underneath the Seven of Swords is the world. Okay. Well, all right. Well, this is why. This is why you're being... Um, I guess the word is deceptive. And and I, I'm not picking up on real deception for malicious reasons. I feel like you're very aware, Divine Feminine, especially with the world here. There are a lot of big cycles that have come to completion for you. Some of them are still completing. Some of them are literally being washed out of your energetic field. But a lot of you have learned that very valuable lesson of not giving away your plans too easily, too quickly, because you've been burned by that quite a bit in this journey. And so you finally wised up. Now, the problem with that is that means that the divine, your divine masculine also doesn't know what's going on with you, which is kind of making him pissed off, even though he's the one that does that's like the king of deception, right? Or at least has been extremely deceptive here. The last thing he wants is anyone else to be deceptive with him, let alone his divine feminine. But it's come to a point where it's like, look, masculine, I can't tell you anything. Because either, number one, you're just going to use it against me, or number two, the karmics around you, whether that be your friends, your family, or a romantic partner, soulmate I just heard, so maybe it's your husband or your wife, they could potentially get wind of it and try and sabotage me too. So no, I'm not telling you a gat dang thing. <laughs> but it's not malicious, all right? Underneath the world, you have the hanged man. Well, shit. And underneath the hanged man, you have the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so Divine Feminine, I definitely feel like you are make, taking some action steps. You're moving forward with your life. Um, <clears throat> some of you do feel like you're caught between a rock and a hard place. That's kind of what I'm picking up on here with the hanged man. But however, even if you feel like you're stuck or stagnant in some way, I mean, this literally could be an effect of the economic shutdown because of the corona coronavirus pandemic. For some of you, yes, your plans are on hold right now or being halt or, or being, you know, yes, they're on plan right. They're on hold right now just because of economic circumstances. But there's something bigger here. This the, the the hanged man for the divine feminine collective is very much an energy of a change in perspective. This extended period that we've all been through, and I'm feeling like this is mostly for individuals that are in separation. However, if you are in fact in union with your twin and this is resonating with you, then just place it how it fits. You know what I mean? Obviously, it's not necessarily going to sound exactly how I'm describing it. So take it as it resonates for you. But this hanged man energy is very much a representation of the its extended period of time in which the divine feminine has been kind of hanging in limbo um, in terms of like what the waiting around for the divine masculine. And the message that I'm getting from the hanged man, especially with the world here, is, OK, the divine feminine has learned enough of a lesson right now to come to put I'm hearing the narcissistic cycle to an end. There is a level of contention here with this hanged man energy. It's it's almost as if divine feminine, you could turn back inward on yourself and be all like, I told you so. I told you he wasn't going to do it. I told you this wasn't going to work out. But, but that's not even, that sounds pretty egoic. Um, and I guess maybe on some levels it is a little egoic, but at the same time, there's a soul level to it being like, look, we told you there was a deeper meaning to this. And now I'm hearing that you're putting all that into perspective between the hanged man and the world, but you're keeping everything or as much as you possibly can to yourself with the seven of swords. Like for me, example, for me, example, <laughs> in my life, for example, um, I'm moving and I'm haven't, I haven't been talking about it because you know, I, I'm trying to handle it, you know what I mean? But it's gotten to a point where it's like, okay, well, no, I have to start saying something about it because things are going to start changing over the next month. Um, and I'm a little, I'm far enough in the process, Knight of Pentacles, I've slowly but surely gotten gotten deep enough into the process where it's like, no, this, either way, this is going to happen. So I need to, I, I had to tell you guys, I had to be like, look, I'm moving. Um, I'm not going any further than that, but that's what this month is going to be for me. So that's why things are going to be a little 
inconsistent on the channel. Do you see what I mean? That's the only reason that why I'm giving up this information because at this point, it needs to be shared. It's, it's relevant, okay? So with that said, I don't feel like Divine Feminine, you're in an energy of trying to be too deceptive, overly deceptive, or deceptive for malicious reasons. It's literally just doing what you got to do, okay? Okie dokie, kids. So let's get into the rest of the reading here. Um, first set of surrounding energies for you, Divine Feminine. The devil. Oh, shit. With this, I'm hearing breaking the chains, breaking ties. Now, also, this could be a little bit of an energy of what's causing procrastination. Um, that is something that I was hearing coming through for the collective. Uh, and that's actually, I'm going to be honest with you. I am 100% excuse me, resonating with that procrastination energy. However, and maybe it's just like, I'm, maybe I'm just making excuses for myself. I don't know. You know, I, I'm trying not to see it this way. But also, I'm recognizing that there's a lot of very, very heavy energy right now. A lot of low vibrational energy right now. And it could very well be that we are... Okay, we are purging a lot of this toxicity, the codependency, the attachment, the, the narcissism, whatnot, whatever, especially between the world and the hanged man. But what I'm also, what I just heard is for some of us, this procrastination is an energy of having procrastinated on your purging. And now it's time to let go. The devil is coupled with... Ah, <laughs> death. There you go. All right. So this is definitely a final nail in the coffin type of energy. Um, I mean, I guess you could say the, the straw that broke the camel's back. However, that's probably not the best analogy to use. Um, although it could be. Hold on. Because I feel, hold on, give me a second. Let me sit with this for a second because I might be missing something here. Oh, Spirit was just saying I was going in the wrong direction. Okay. Uh, okay, so one of the simplest things that I'm feeling here, Divine Feminine, for you is that there is another level of purging that's happening. Um, and this doesn't necessarily have to be with your Divine Masculine. This could be with all, with many, many different areas in your life. And it could very well be that this economic shutdown is what's helping facilitate things. I, I just feel like things are literally just kind of falling away for you right now. You don't even have to put much effort into it because I still see you sitting in that dark corner in this, in this, in this raging club you know, sipping on your martini, your margarita, your your gimlet, whatever it is you drink, and um, watching things fall away. So with that, I don't really feel like you're taking too much action. I don't feel like it's necessary for much action to be taken because I because literally things are just falling away from your life right now, like one by one by one. Interesting. Um, I was just reminded of a reading that I did. Something you ought to know. One by one, the dominoes fall. Um, if you haven't watched that reading, give me a second. I want to write this down. If you haven't watched that reading, I would highly recommend you do so because I feel like it's going to resonate for some of you. Maybe if you did watch that reading, um, maybe watch it again because there might be something in there that, um, resonates with you now, something you didn't get before or something that's going to resonate with you differently. There is a card at the top right, <laughs> at the top right of your screen to check that out. Okay. All right. Let's move forward. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Divine Feminine. You have three of pentacles, uh, uh, rebuilding for sure. And a lot of what's going on here, a lot of what's falling away for you, Divine Feminine, is giving you the clear space to rebuild your foundation. Um, the Three of Pentacles for me is very much a self-mastery type of energy. It's also an energy of entrepreneurialship, uh, being in business with yourself. It's also an energy of teamwork. Um, and in, in this case, I feel like what this is specifically saying very strongly for the, for the Divine Feminine is you're getting back down, as things are falling away for you, you're getting back down to your foundation, doing maybe a little bit of deep excavation and filling in the holes, filling in the gaps, doing the repairs, refortifying your foundation. That's what I feel like the focus is for you right now. Refort that's very strong coming through, okay? 
rebuilding, uh, reshaping, remastering, ooh, remastering your foundation. Yes. Three of Pentacles is coupled with the Page of Swords. Okay, so I'm hearing inquisitive nature. Okay, um, so actually... Uh, you could be right now, Divine Feminine, or whenever this message resonates for you, you could be in a phase where you're looking, you're doing the excavation, you're going down into your foundation and like taking stock, you're surveying the, the situation and saying, okay, what is the state of my foundation and how can I fortify it? How can I rebuild it? Lots of internal work that's happening for you right now, Divine Feminine, and that's a beauty, really beautiful thing. And to be quite honest, you have a perfect time to do it because it's not like you have, for the most part at least, I know everybody isn't out of work, but there is, at least things are slowing down. So you have, I'm feeling like for at least, I guess for whomever this is resonating for, you have the energetic time and space, if you want to see it that way, to really focus on your foundation and rebuilding yourself, working on yourself. I'm, I'm, I, I just heard working on your life's work. Well, your life's work would be this sense of self, right? In, to certain extents. So yeah, that makes sense. Very good. Very good. And yeah, especially the perfect time now because there are things that are just really falling away for you. And there is a huge change in perspective for the Divine Feminine Collective um, that's manifesting in different ways. Some of you are struggling with this. Not going to lie. Some of you are struggling with this. It really just depends on where you are in, the, in your own personal journey, okay? You will overcome it. I promise. You will, you will definitely overcome it. Your challenge, Divine Feminine, the star... Very interesting. This is your challenge right now. Um, this is your goal. I feel like this is your highest hope right now to continue to follow the wisdom of your higher self, the wisdom of the universe. Um, but this doesn't feel like that much of a challenge because with this hanged man energy, this change in perspective, Divine Feminine, you are much more willing to follow the guidance of your inner self. You're much more willing to follow the universe here. I feel like there's a very, there has been lots of instances over the last year, maybe even two years, where you have been systematically proving to yourself that you can trust the universe. Um, you can allow the universe to provide for you. So at this point, there is a strong sense of surrender, or at least, I, 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 for the most part, Divine Feminine, I feel like there is a strong sense of surrender for you. Ooh. Um, because of... Because of the fact that uh, of what this, what this hanged man energy is representing for you. This hanged man energy is is a, a change in perspective that has been developed over a long period of time, all right? So either there is a sense of surrender, okay, and your challenge to stay in this energy, or for some of you, your challenge is to surrender and to surrender to faith and, and all that, okay? The star is coupled with Wow, the hermit. Look at how much major arcana is in your spread right now. You have f six cards. The world, the hanged man, the devil, death, the star, and the hermit. So, yes, divine feminine, you are very much falling back, you know, sitting in the back in the cut in the in the club, you know what I mean? Just just falling back and not really allowing yourself to be seen too much, to be heard too much, to be known too much about I'm hearing you're changing your perspective. The economic downturn has a lot to do with this for a good amount of you. Because at this point, it's just like, I literally have nothing to do but surrender to God, source, creator, whomever it is you resonate with, and to allow things to just fall away. But the more things fall away, the more you're able to start really looking at yourself or getting back to yourself, keeping to yourself, more of your light can shine as these pieces just fall away. The devil with death, okay? This is really a, this is a really a strong time for you, Divine Feminine, to go within and really work on rebuilding or reshaping. Doing the work 
making the changes that maybe you've always wanted to do or you've known for a long time you've wanted to make, but just didn't have the wherewithal, didn't have the belief in yourself, didn't have the energetic space or the time even. But with devil and the death, with the devil and death, excuse me, the devil energies of whatever has been blocking you from making these changes, from fortifying your foundation, from shifting things around, again, it's falling away. Beautiful. All right, Divine Feminine, closing, closing message or potential outcome for you here. Oh, the Five of Cups. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. But uh, I'm going to be honest with you, Divine Feminine. This, this is par for the course. Five of Cups. I mean, again, things are falling away. Three of Cups. Do you see these three cups that are spilt out? Things are falling away. But you still have this, the Two of Cups. And what I'm hearing, I'm going to, what I heard is you still have the connection with between you and your Divine Masculine. Even if you two are in separation, you're not speaking to each other, and it doesn't, it, you can't even fathom, you can't even bring yourself to think about ways that you could come back together. You still, you two still have this energetic connection. And what I'm getting with the Five of Cups also is that the Divine Masculine is going through this too, but he's a lot more hurt than you are because you, Divine Feminine, have seen it coming all along. So you kind of could have, you had an opportunity to energetically or emotionally prepare for it, maybe even physically prepare for it, you know, hunker down, fortify yourself, get a nice nest egg going so that when, <laughs> I mean, you, uh, hey, Many of us in this Divine Feminine Collective are very, very strongly prophetic and psychic. So, I mean, all of us really have these energies, have these abilities, but some of us are stronger in some ways than others. And I feel like for some of you, you, y'all really knew this, this was coming and you, you stocked up. So yes, Divine Feminine, you're dealing with some of this Five of Cups energy, but I don't feel like it's as heavy as it may have been in the past. Again, because you were energetically prepared for this. Whether or not you actually saw it coming in this way, you were prepared for this. So this Five of Cups is not as sorrowful as maybe it could be, given the circumstances, right? Five of Cups is coupled with... Interesting, the Four of Pentacles. All right, but um, hunkering down, for sure. Hunkering down, Four of Pentacles. Now, for some of you, this is the Five of Cups is energy is here. Um, and I, mean, I guess this would be a, your potential, no, your closing message, not your potential outcome. It would be your closing message because of there are things, this five of cups energy is here because you're letting things go. Four of pentacles is about holding on to things, hoarding, being a miser, ty that type of energy, fortifying yourself, grounding yourself. It can represent grounding. However, I do feel like with the five of cups here, it's because you're letting things go that you may have had, you may have been holding on to for dear life. I'm really surprised we don't have the tower here because that's kind of what this feels like between the Five of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. Now, what this also could be for you, Divine Feminine, is um, you fortifying yourself or you hunkering down in this atmosphere, this climate of Five of Cups energy where it's just all around you. There's just this, this sorrow, this fear, this destruction, this um, this guilt, this shame, the, the mourning, you know, people are dying because of this virus. Okay. Like, so I really do kind of feel like you're very, uh, the strongest message that's coming through here between the five of cups and the four of pentacles. And this would be your potential outcome, um, is you really just hunkering down, fortifying yourself for the long stormy ride that we're going to be going through here with this five of cups energy as things are falling away. Okay. Woo! All right, Divine Feminine, that was interesting. Divine Masculine, it is your turn, my friend. Let's get into your energies here. Overall, we're starting you off with the Three of Cups. Very interesting celebration here. And yet we have these three cups here in the Divine Feminine's energy that are spilling out. All right. And then here you have Divine Masculine. You have these three cups. So uh, what I'm kind of getting, I don't want to look too deep without looking at the next cards. But what I'm kind of picking up on, the, on already for you, Divine Masculine, is you're getting a, a very strong view of who's really in your circle.
And I don't, I mean, I don't know what that means for you. That's something that you are coming up with for yourself. Everyone's situation is different. Um, I am being, my attention is being pulled to the masks that these women are holding. If my camera would focus, there it is. You see the masks that the women are holding? I feel like some of, for, uh, for some of what this energy is for you, Divine Masculine, is you're starting to recognize the masks that people are wearing and you're like, wait a second, that's not who you really are. And for some of you, it's like, well, who have you been this whole time? Interesting. Underneath the Three of Cups is the Ten of Pentacles. Aha! Okay, this does have a bit of a business and finance energy to it. I'm hearing the masks are coming off. And the Ten of Pentacles, for me as a reader, is very much an energy of... Um, oh, a lesson being completed. And, and with this here... This Three of Cups, where the ma I mean, this is very much the collective hive mind type energy, party energy, celebration energy. Um, I really feel like there's definitely an energy for you, Divine Masculine, of coming to terms with the fact that people around you are wearing masks, 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 masks that you weren't aware of in the past, or at least you couldn't see through them, and now you're starting to, or at least you're starting to recognize that, wait a second, that's not really your face, or that's not really who you are. Wait a second, what's going on here? Underneath the Ten of Pentacles is the Nine of Cups, and then underneath the Nine of Cups is the Hermit. All right, so we do have a little bit of mirroring energy here so far between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Um, you know, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> this could have financial connotations to it as well. I do feel like there's somewhat, there's a bit of a celebratory energy here for you, Divine Masculine. Some of you may have recently uh, met some of your economic or um, financial or career goals. And if that's you, congratulations. That's great. That's really quite great. You do, you have every reason to celebrate that. Um, I'm also getting with the Nine of Cups here, though. There, 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 there's a there's an energy of finding satisfaction on your own. satisfaction, and I heard fulfillment on your own. And if you're resonating with this on the point of you know you're starting to recognize the masks that people are wearing around you, oh my God! Especially with the Hermit energy here. Okay, all right, all right. I just put two and two together. There are some of the, uh, the energy for the Divine Masculine is very much in this time period. Yes, um, you could have. Uh, got some economic windfall or, um, you know, some sort of career goal or career victory. But I feel like you're kind of celebrating on your own. There is an energy of celebrating on your own and getting to who you are and understanding yourself further, especially since from a lot of you, you're starting to recognize the masks that people are wearing. And thus, and it's very much an energy of, well, shit, if you're not going to be honest with me, then you know what? If you're not going to be genuine, I'm just going to find satisfaction on my own. I'm just going to go party and have fun on my own. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm, my attention is being caught by two lovebirds or doves outside my window. There have been a lot of doves around me lately. <sighs> All right, masculine, divine masculine, let's get into the rest of <laughs> your, that was such a sidebar. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, divine masculine, let's see what we've got for you. So first set of surrounding energies for you. Justice. Oh boy. Um, I don't, I, I don't know exactly what this means for you. I don't want to I don't want to speculate and start talking about how, ooh, masculine, you're getting your comeuppance, blah, 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 because it's not even about that. The, well, the strongest thing that I'm getting here is that the scales are being balanced. So take that as it resonates for you. If you are in an energy, oh my God. I think they're trying to mate you guys. These two lovebirds that are, oh my God, that's so symbolic. I'm so sorry, I'm getting distracted, but... Um, regardless of what this 
what this specifically looks like for you, the first part, the first card in your surrounding energies, Divine Masculine, is justice. So scales are being balanced somehow. Take that as it resonates. You could be experiencing a windfall. You could be experiencing a downturn. 4444 four, four, four on the counter. I don't... I. Okay. That might be an extra reading. So for the Divine Feminine, we're going to look at... We could potentially look at the Seven of Swords in, a, in an extra reading. For the Divine Masculine, we could look at Justice. Um, stay tuned, guys. If I do those readings, they're going to be over on my Patreon account. But let's continue. Justice is coupled with the page, the page of pentacles, the princess of pentacles. So, okay, good. I keep hearing economic downturn, which is interesting. So I guess this is having a strong effect on everyone, obviously, but especially the masculine collective. So justice with the page of pentacles. I'm not going to lie and it's this is this is a complete contrast to what I was just picking up on with this 10 of pentacles, 3 of cups. For some of you uh, keeping with what I said here, for some of you you are in fact reaching a new career level. And that's why you have this page of pentacles energy starting over a new a new journey, a new mindset, a new level. Um You've worked very hard for this and now you're getting what you're due. For others of you, I feel like you've been knocked down a few pegs. Like with this justice card, with the page of pentacles, I'm getting a very strong energy for, um, and I guess spirit is kind of saying like around a good 80% of the divine masculine collective has experienced some sort of economic downturn obviously we have this this shutdown system-wide shutdown or at least slowdown but it's like a big setback it's like you're starting from ground one again but ultimately it's because if that is your karmic justice or if that's the justice that's being served for you there's a reason for it um, and i feel like if you have been knocked down a few pegs financially or business-wise it's because there was a lot of dirty deeds that were done in the past your your business your endeavors were false they were built on a false foundation it was a house of cards type of energy and so now with this economic downturn everything is being balanced okay i don't want if you're on the negative side of that i don't want you to think too poorly because ultimately you still have the knowledge that you gain from dealing from with that situation so you can do better moving forward this is literally, it's, it's like a reset button. It's giving you a chance to try again from a more balanced point of view, I guess. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Divine Masculine. Well, 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 looky here, we have the King of Cups. And it's so funny, you guys, because when I was getting ready, like, uh, you know, I was getting set, getting dressed, getting my, my space settled, making sure I was settled into the Divine, the, 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 the Collective, I was thinking about the divine masculine energy and the king of cups came out. Well, it came up, it, it popped up in my head. I was, I think I was in the shower or something, but it popped into my head. I was like, interesting. I wonder if the king of cups is going to come out for the divine masculine. And here it is. But divine masculine, this is an energy for you of emotional maturity. And I feel like whatever in economic or, or, or justice, whatever justice is being served for you here. It's promoting you to, to take responsibility, to get into a deeper sense of self, to be more emotionally responsible, and even promoting you to move into an energy of greater emotional maturity. Now, what I'm picking up on here for you, Divine Masculine, is like this emotional maturity is not going to settle in for you overnight. So if you're someone that has, had, that has struggled with emotional maturity, this is just another catalyst or push for you to start cultivating, developing um, that emotional maturity. So I don't want any of the divine feminines out there to get excited and be like, oh my God, he's going to turn over a new leaf tomorrow. No. I mean, sure, that could happen, but it depends on where the divine masculine individually is specifically on his or her journey. All right. So this is a catalyst towards greater emotional responsibility. 
And it's funny because that's kind of what I've been picking, what I was picking up for you in the very beginning where I was picking up on this change in perspective for you. However, it's funny that that came out for the divine feminine. We'll see if that come, came out for you. But ultimately that change in perspective that I was feeling for you energetically is an energy that is promoting emotional maturity, looking at things around you very differently than you had in the past, especially your divine feminine. Again, divine feminine, don't get excited and expect your divine masculine to reach out for you. Now is not really the time for that. We still have work that we need to do individually on ourselves before any, any separation can end, if you do find yourself in separation, okay? King of Cups is coupled with, whoa, your buddy, King of uh, Divine Masculine, the Five of Swords. And this is, oh my God, you guys, if this is not rising out of the Five of Swords energy through emotional maturity, I don't know what is. It's like, I really do kind of feel like what I heard for a lot of you, there's a strong sense of seeing the error of your ways, seeing the error of giving into this toxic masculine energy here with, with this five of swords energy. I definitely see you rising above this divine masculine, taking responsibility for yourself, taking responsibility for your actions. Now, for some of you, this is actually promoting you to stay even further from your divine feminine because you recognize How do I say this? You recognize the destructive energy that has been flowing between the two of you. Not to say that the divine feminine is completely exempt from any of that because the divine feminine was acting from a twisted feminine aspect too. But to be quite honest, divine masculine, you're kind of the leader in that. And that's mainly just by the way that our society is, is structured because, you know, there's this strong... What is the word I'm looking for? This strong focus in masculine energy or the man being the ruler, being in, in control, okay? Um, man, oof, wow, okay. Your challenge, divine masculine, the king of wands. The first thing that I got from this divine masculine is, I, I, I guess a reset. A reset of your willpower, a reset of how you conduct yourself. And I do feel like with this rise of the King of Cups energy or this heart chakra, I guess, opening, this sense of emotional fortitude, emotional balance, and emotional maturity, it's causing you to look at your self-centered ways, your, your, the ways that you have been overly egotistical. To set the record straight there, I'm feeling your challenge here with this King of Wands energy is to bring your ego in balance. That's a little bit of a struggle for you guys right now. Um, not that it wouldn't be a struggle just because of the fact that how strongly our egos run, <laughs> rule the world, right? But... Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a struggle, but it's a necessary struggle. It's a part of the justice here being justice, balancing the scales. It's part of the closing of this lesson, 10 of pentacles. The king of wands is coupled with, ooh, the knight of wands. So there is a little bit of a sense of activation here. Interesting. Okay, so uh, what I'm feeling with this Divine Masculine is you're actually growing up. You're going from the Knight status into the King status, and with the King status comes a sense of responsibility. So it kind of feels like, Divine Masculine, you have been in this Knight of Wands energy for the longest time, feeling activated. Some of you may have been very, very consciously aware of your spiritual gifts or spiritual abilities, but that's not something you were trying to share with anybody. Um for manipulative reasons, whether that be because you didn't want people to look at you like you're crazy or you knew you had the advantage and wanted to use that against or uh, against people, especially your divine feminine, okay? But she saw through it anyway, so like, what the fuck ever. <laughs> but 
um, you're you're going you're growing from this Knight of Wands energy to this King of Wands energy, and there is a sense of responsibility. And the strongest thing that I'm getting with this is with great power comes great responsibility, and you're starting to recognize that. You're starting to understand that. And you're starting to step, really step in, you're starting the process of stepping into your divine, your true, balanced, harmonious, and healthy divine masculine energy, rather than this narcissistic, childish, willy-nilly, uh, wishy-washy, I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want because I can type of energy, okay? Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, divine masculine. The four of wands, that is excellent. That is excellent. Okay, so there is definitely mirroring here between the masculine and the feminine. The feminine has the four of pentacles. The masculine has, a, has the four of wands. Both of these are all about grounding and stability. The feminine, you are hunkering down, hunkering down, um, holding down the fort, getting down into that, that, that fallout shelter, I guess, if you will, because of all the sorrow, the death, the destruction, all the things that are falling away from you, right? Or from your life and the lives of others. I do feel like divine feminine, you are not only feeling your own emotions here with the five of cups, but you're very aware of everyone else's emotions. So you're really keeping to yourself here. Divine masculine, you have the four of wands, which is yes, grounding, stability, foundation, fortification, but it's spiritual foundation. I feel like divine masculine with this four of wands energy, you're in a cycle or in a phase in your life right now where you're kind of starting to get a little more open to energetic awareness, but it's because of this, this, this spiritual foundation that is, that is, that is settling in for you or we could say you're settling into your own sense of spiritual foundation, which is something that has always been there. It's just that with all this egoic energy that's been around you, you've denied it. But I, what I'm feeling here for you, Divine Masculine, is you're slowly, slowly chipping away at that wall between you and your sense of spirituality, which is allowing you to settle into it more. I want to drill this point home. The sense of spirituality for the divine masculine is different than the sense of spirituality for the divine feminine. So divine feminine, if you're sitting here listening to this, getting all excited that the masculine is getting settled into his sense of his own sense of spirituality and spiritual foundation, just be aware it is still not going to look the same as yours looks. I have to drill that point home. Four of Wands is coupled with judgment, the wake up call. And what I'm getting with this divine masculine is that you really cannot, you can't run, you can't hide, you cannot deny this sense of spiritual foundation any longer. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, sorry guys, throwing cards everywhere. You really cannot hide from this sense of spirituality or spiritual foundation any longer. And for some of you, I'm really, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that you can't even hide from your connection with your twin flame or your divine feminine any longer. That doesn't mean that she's around. Ooh, ciao. All right. What I was going to say, that doesn't mean that she's around you trying to get you to wake up to it. Oh no. On the contrary, she's actually nowhere to be found. And that's what's helping you wake up because the divine feminine has, I guess I'm going to say it this way, finally, <laughs> for the most part, retracted her energy, which is no longer enabling you to siphon anything from her any longer. So now you've got to find this, this wellspring within. We also, yes, we definitely do have exact mirroring. We have the hermit with the divine feminine and the hermit with the divine masculine. So both sides of the equation are kind of keeping to themselves, are going into a little bit of a hermit mode. The Divine Feminine, you've been there. You've been there. So your challenge right now, the Divine Feminine, is to stay in this hermit mode and to stay connected to your faith. Divine Masculine, you're getting into this sense of energy or this space where masks are falling away from all the people that are around you and even your own masks. I mean, this could be very well be a situation. It's like, what the hell is this mask that I've been wearing? This is not who I am, right? Okay, so you're, you're, you're kind of, you're getting into an energy of um, hermit too, because lessons are coming, are, are coming to completion and you're looking to satisfy your own self. 
I mean, if it's toxic by hanging out with y'all, then I'm just going to hang out with myself, which is exactly what you need to be doing. <sighs> okay, I want to close out this reading here with some oracle guidance for us. Oh, shoot. I was not prepared for this. Okay, pause for a second. Okay, I had to pause for a second because um, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for Oracle Guidance to close out this reading. Um, and I've decided that instead of pulling one card for the whole collective, I wanted to pull some cards for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. And I actually, when that thought came to mind, I saw this deck, the Sacred Geometry Activations deck. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pull um, an activation card for the Divine Feminine, and then I'm going to pull an activation card for the Divine Masculine. Um, and I'm also... I'm thinking if you guys do want me to do those extend those those deeper readings, one for the divine feminine with the seven of swords, the other for the divine masculine with justice, it's justice, right? Yes. Um let me know. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Yeah, if you guys are interested in looking in that, I would I'm definitely interested. I, I will look into that for you guys if you would like me to. All right, one more shuffle here. And let's see what we've got. So an activation card, please, Spirit, to close out this reading for the Divine Feminine Collective. Woo! Oh, goodness. Card number 15, Compassion. All right. Yes, I get it. The queen, uh, uh, But see, it, and yes, this is the Queen of Cups energy. And it's interesting because I do feel like the Divine Feminine is here anyway with this element of being, a, of understanding what the world is going through, like understanding your own part in the economic downturn and all the stuff that's falling away. Okay, but then having this strong understanding or at least this deep sense of what's going on for other people, the other people around you, very much an empathic Queen of Cups energy, you're in this compassionate energy anyway. However, the sh I'm picking up a strong message here that even though you have retracted or removed your energy back from the Divine Masculine, there is still a need to hold compassion for him. Not hate him. No resentful energy. None of that. We have to let that go. The frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and be the divine mediator between heaven and earth, spirit and matter, so that unconditional love can flow from source through our heart and into the world. So Divine Feminine, your energy or your, your goal right now is to remain in this compassion. Hold a sense of compassion for everyone and anything and everything as we deal with this. Spirit keeps saying economic downturn, but as we deal with all of that, okay, hold compassion for yourself. Hold compassion for everyone else around you. Definitely hold compassion for your Divine Masculine. However, do not feed him any of your energy. He needs to work on this on his own. Okay. And that's not me being a bitch. That's not me trying to be ha 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 divine masculine. You got to do this by yourself. No, no, that's the way it's always had to be. All right. We are individuals. Yes, we are. We, sh we have this energetic soul connection. We have, you know, where you can say many of us look at us as, as two parts of the same soul. However, we are still whole and complete in and of ourselves without the external twin. Make sense? All right, for the Divine Masculine, what card do we have? Let's close this out. For the Divine Masculine Collective here. For the Divine Masculine Collective, what is your closing oracle guidance? Alchemy, okay, card number eight. Uh, the frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we hold inside. Okay, so that's exactly what I was picking up on for the Divine Masculine. It's like you're getting into this sense of spirituality, this sense of magic, this sense of all that good stuff. That's awesome. Each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. Divine Masculine, this is all about getting back to your sense of alchemy to get you into your sense of being an alchemist, um, your form of magic. Masculine energies are not without their own magical expression. And even if that word magic triggers you, I mean, it's like, 
okay i mean it's a word first of all second of all that's what we use to describe this kind of stuff so if you're getting triggered by that you have to i mean you've got to look at why and you've got to get over it because i know this this might be a little insensitive but you you have to get over it because you're only keeping yourself closed off from abilities that you have let's see i'm, I'm looking i'm wanting to go into the book this time <clears throat> All right, so let's start with the Divine Feminine then. So, compassion. Okay, the word compassion derives from the Latin words calm, meaning with uh, or together, and pati, meaning, uh, I don't want to hold the card up, meaning to suffer. So, compassion can be described as the act of, of sharing in or being with another struggle or suffering. Oftentimes, it includes the desire to alleviate this discomfort through benevolent action, sensitive understanding, and warm support. Compassion holds the highest energy of all human emotions. It is the center of the multidimensional communication between the human being and his or her higher self. At, and this communication is exclusive to humans who have the unique ability or capability to feel emotion that is rooted in their connection to source. Human emotion can also shift reality. We can choose to move into an emotion and with that shift the reality we are experiencing. When we reach an inner state of balance based on wisdom and maturity, and when we feel empathy without attachment to our own project, projection or expectation, compassion easily flows from our heart to others, to our planet and to ourselves. The frequency of compassion reminds us that each one of us walks a unique and individual path in life and that we create this reality based on emotions and experiences we choose for ourselves. The greens represent a heart that is open so that love and compassion can flow freely without restraints. The turquoise symbolizes the higher heart, the place where the energies from the heart and those from the throat merge into loving expression of truth. The water in the background indicates the emotional plane. The six shining flowers epitomize the light that is gathered by the compassion that flows from an open heart. The number six is associated with love and relationships, harmony and balance. The flower in the middle represents the core of our being and our connection to source. The colorful flower at the top of our shining expression on earth I'm sorry, the colorful flower at the top is our shining expression on earth when that connection is solid and deeply rooted within ourselves. Beautiful. All right, so let's read alchemy now. Alchemy usually refers to the process of transform transforming matter, particularly that from metal into gold. In a more esoteric sense, alchemy has been associated with magical transformations that have to do with longevity. Magic is a real, it, magic is real as we allow ourselves, I'm sorry, let me say that again. Magic is as real as we allow ourselves to believe, whether we aim to transform metal into gold or wish to find the secret to life itself, the immortality of the soul. And that's exactly what I was just talking about. Divine Masculine, you're in this energy right now of starting to get back to your true sense of magical power which is beautiful. When we access the, mysteri the mysterious, subtle, and often undefined parts of ourselves that light us up, we get a taste <clears throat> of real magic. Love is one of the greatest, most mysterious, and magical energies in the universe. When love comes to us and we open our hearts to welcome it, true al I'm sorry, welcome it in, true alchemy can work its magic on every aspect of our being. In tantric traditions, it is believed that when two people merge through not only their physical bodies, but when with all the energetic aspects of themselves aligned as well, they can reach states of consciousness that have powerful rejuvenating effects and can even open the door to immortality. These heightened states of consciousness can also be achieved by a single individual. The key either way is the intentional, directed, deep state of love that merges all dualistic aspects, the masculine and the feminine, with others and ultimately within ourselves. The alchemy image shows one, uh, how one becomes two. Or is it the other way around? From the center, source, spin, the two aspects of masculine left circle with the upward triangle and feminine right circle with the downward triangle representing the dualistic world of the physical plane. 
The bright orange represents the color of our sacral chakra, which is linked to our sexuality, our connection with others, and its freeing effect on the body and mind. Purple and violet represent our connection to the higher realms and source, indicating that our consciousness is as much a part of the merging as our physical bodies are. The large triangles refer to the union between the masculine and the feminine, where the upward triangle represents the masculine and the downward one, the feminine. The number six circles, light sources, represents harmony, love, and balance. Wow. All right, kids. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. I am available for private readings. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I love you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah. Take care. Bye.